yo so i like to give y'all food for thought and me too because most of the time these are conversations that i've had with somebody and so forth so i'm bringing it to you okay so are you really broke i ask because people say oh, i'm broke i'm broke i don't have i don't have okay do you really not have or do you not want to spend or have you spent your money on things you shouldn't have bought so, or think that wasn't necessary. The reason why I say that is that people say they're broke. Okay, fine. But yet, they drive a fancy car. But then how are you broke? You're driving a fancy car. That costs a lot in maintenance and gas. How are you broke when you have your hair done all the time and you got a $50 haircut every two weeks? Or you got, you know, $200 sitting in your hair or $500 sitting in your hair and you're getting it done every, you know, month or two. Or how are you broke when your nails are always decked out, stacked out, filled in, the whole nine yards? Them fillings are expensive. And you have to go one, one to two weeks, every one to two weeks, and you're spending $50, $200 and so forth on these nails. How are you broke when you have the latest X, Y, and Z sneakers on? Them sneakers are $200. That's a few bills right there. How are you broke when you were taking lavish vacations? Not vacations, because everybody need a vacation, but lavish vacations where you're spending thousands of dollars to go somewhere simple and local. How are you broke when you're eating out all the time? How are you broke? Now, there are some people that are actually broke. That's a true definition of broke, of course. But are you really broke? Or do you just not have enough money to support your lifestyle? Um, you know, are you really broke or are you spending your money on frivolous stuff or frivolous subscription and you got, you know, five cable subscriptions and all these other subscriptions that you don't really use, watch, or need? So things like that, that's just food for thought. You know, are you really broke? So every time I hear somebody say, I'm broke, I'm broke. But yet, I see all these luxuries that they have and that they indulge in. You know how much cigarettes cost per year, but you're broke? You know how much all these little vices that we all have, you know, gambling, sex, drugs, partying, going out all the time, shoes, shopping, um, food, restaurants, all these different vices that we have and that we indulge in is very expensive. Very expensive. So... If we have money for that, for these vices and things that we say that make us happy, then how come we don't have money for the things that we need? Now, you're going to say, oh, Monica, I want to do things to make me happy. I have no problem with that. We all do that. We all do things to make us feel good long term and in the moment. Not a problem. But then don't tell me you're broke then. Because that car that's sitting outside, it costs a lot of money. It costs money to buy money to maintain, and you may have a car payment on it. That car payment in this day and age is like 500 or better. That's a lot of money. That's a few bills that you can pay off. So don't tell me that you're broke when you have that sitting outside and, and it has nice wheels and nice, you know, tents on it and all that stuff. So just some food for thought. Are you really broke? See you in the next one.